First position that gets a solo cabin working on board a cruise ship selling jewelry is my job. I'm a port and shopping expert. I work with HFG Media uh, and the easiest way to apply to work with them would be through LinkedIn. Uh, now I can do a future video about the application process to becoming a port and shopping guide, but that would be the first role that's definitely guaranteed a solo cabin. Do keep in mind when you do start in this role, you will start though as an assistant port and shopping expert and after you progress from that assistant level to the port and shopping expert level you then will get your solo cabin so you might start still sharing a room and um, you could expect to it within one contract which would be about six months uh, to step up and to get that role in some cases shorter than six months depending on how much work it is you're willing to put in uh, now I have filmed another video uh, which you'll see up in the top corner of the screen as well about getting different jobs working within jewelry on cruise ships around the world as well so make sure to watch that video too uh, and if you have this is the first time to the channel welcome uh, my name's Levon uh, and all of these videos are aimed at making you better at selling jewelry whether you're working on board a cruise ship whether you're working in a retail sales environment uh, you do retail sales shows there's many different ways you can apply this sales training knowledge and advice that I'm going to provide on this channel so make sure to subscribe to it as well uh, now the next position where you are guaranteed a solo cabin is being an Effie jewelry manager now Effie jewelry supply the jewelry to the majority of the cruise ships and cruise lines around the world uh, from celebrity carnival Holland America Norwegian cruise lines uh, gosh Royal Caribbean, uh, the majority of the cruise lines, it is going to be FE Jewelry on board. Uh, now, when you do apply to be able to work with FE Jewelry, the application process is going to be in another video, uh, which you'll be able to see on the channel as well. But after you have gotten through to being a jewelry sales associate, you would then have to be promoted to becoming an assistant jewelry store manager and then an FE Jewelry manager. When you get that FE Jewelry manager, promotion that is when you're going to get your own cabin on board uh, now the next role that's going to do that uh, is being a retail manager with either Harding Brothers or with Starboard now Harding Brothers and Starboard are two very different companies as well so with Harding Brothers they don't just sell jewelry they sell uh, everything in the shops uh, now everything meaning from t-shirts liquor watches beauty supply products as well uh, that's a very different role where it requires a lot more of you, uh, your own personal experience in many different fields because there you're also going to be managing a lot of staff members too. And, and you might also not be working with jewelry if you do get a position as, uh, as the retail manager for a Starboard or the Harding Brothers because they don't supply the jewelry on every cruise ship around the world today. Now the the fourth role uh, would then end up being being a Diamonds International jewelry store manager or ambassador. Now at the moment they are on board Disney cruise ships uh, and in that role you are managing a jewelry store. Now the fourth role that does get a solo cabin on board uh, is being an ambassador for Diamonds International or a Diamonds International jewelry store manager. Now they are on board the majority of the Disney cruise ships currently uh, and on board some of the Royal Caribbean cruise ships. Now their solo, they definitely do get solo cabins from my understanding. I've never worked for them, but I know people that have, and that is the information they've passed on to me. Uh, now the fifth and final role that is going to guarantee you a solo cabin is being an onboard media port and shopping expert. Now onboard media, they run the port and shopping program only on board carnival cruise ships. Now these cruise ships that you're on, you are going to have your own solo cabin. I know that for fact, uh, but personally I wouldn't recommend applying to work with onboard media. Uh, my only reason surrounding that is currently after spending around seven years within this industry, I have noticed ever since the pandemic has happened that HFG Media and FE uh, have 
basically taken over or purchased the contract rights to the majority of the cruise ships and cruise lines around the world as well. Uh, so in my personal opinion, it won't be much longer until they would also be on board all of the Carnival cruise ships running the port and shopping program as well. Now that's it. These are the positions that are going to get you a solo cabin uh, when you are working on board. But of course, when you are planning to be able to work on board selling jewelry on a cruise ship as well, you need to know some of the ins and outs surrounding how to do that. So that's also why I filmed an entire jewelry sales training course for free on my YouTube channel uh, that you're going to see one of the videos up here on the screen right now. Uh, now this sales training course is based on selling jewelry on a cruise ship. So click that video and I'll see you there.